I, this is my second year receiving a grant. Um, I did bring some handouts. If you want one, take one. If you don't, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Promise. Um, so last year I received um, my grant stand up, which was um, initially the plan was standing workstations. We get online and you look at standing workstations and individual students standing workstations. I could have gotten two. Um, so then I kept diving further and, um, what ended up being really neat last year is I gave the students the task of helping me find, um, the standing workstations that would work for our classroom, looking at funding that we had, they knew how much money we had. Um, and I had some students by the end of the day of giving them this task, of course, they wanted to use that time during school to use, to figure this out rather than their schoolwork, but hey, it works. Um, they came to me by the end of the day and said, "Miss Davis, why can't we get standing dining room tables? Like bar hot dining room tables. Sounds like a great idea. How many can we get? We can get enough that 24 students can sit in your class for $1,000. So what? <laughs> so that's what we ended up doing. They loved them. Um, I had several students that come in, they move my chairs, they stand up the entire class period. Um, not only do they like standing up, I like the way that it looks. You got wood dining room tables in your classroom. How much more fun and interactive can it be? Um, so over the summer, I looked at um, different problems, different things, trying to figure out ways to improve. And I ran across the research question um, or research that says, little known fact that a whiteboard or dry waste top table can help you improve achievement in the classroom and I started thinking really can that really improve achievement so that's what my research question is this year is can this tabletop really improve achievement so I'm keeping my standing tables um, but I looked into um, plexiglass tops for them so it won't only protect my surfaces on my wooden tables for years to come but they will also be able to use it as a dry erase surface um, and they're going to be clear so I can put poster boards underneath it and I can reuse some of my poster board resources year to year, um, which is so exciting. Um, the further I looked into it, I'm actually have not purchased anything yet because I can't decide I'm going back and forth of getting the thick plexiglass tables, um, which are semi breakable over the summer, which makes me nervous. Um, if the kids get too crazy or we get too wild in the classroom, bump a table, I'm afraid they shouldn't slide, but it makes me nervous. Um, so I'm looking, looked on Amazon and recently found um, a roll-up tabletop um, that's really like a thick tablecloth. Um, so that's what I'm kind of leaning towards right now is getting this to where it is something that can roll up. It's not breakable. The students can move it um, a lot easier to get the tape posters underneath. Um, Along with the grant, if I go that direction, then I can get all of the dry erase markers, all of the erasers, the cleaner, um, different poster boards to put underneath there. So it opens up my resource money um, a little bit further to be able to reach more of my ended goal than just the tabletop itself. Um, so that's my plan. That's my goal with it. 